I'd rather save face damage. What's up, AT Mai? How you doing? You just stopped in right in time for a for a giant posse swing. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Liberty, and welcome to another daily video. Today we've got a burn list that'll blow your socks off. So if you like the video, drop a like. If you're brand new, subscribe and come check me out on my Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Enjoy the video. Okay, guys, believe it or not, this championless burn list was being played competitively in Masters, so I just had to try it out. It revolves around the Sump Worker, which is an amazingly strong card. Once you have a Sump Worker on field, when you play a second Sump Worker, it obliterates the first one and transforms all future copies of Sump Workers that you play into the Sump Works Posse. This Posse is super powerful. It's a 4-2 elusive that does 1 to all enemy units and the nexus whenever it attacks. If you can fuel a couple of these, you can kill your opponent very quickly and decisively. For the rest of the deck, we've got some assorted burn, a crap ton of draw to find the sump workers, and then some clone cards so that we can get more sump workers out onto the field. We've even got one copy of the harrowing in there for good measure. Let's jump right into some games. Like, lay down like this. You got a Draven Ezreal. I feel like that's a pretty good counter test just because they uh, shut down our everything, right? But I suppose we'll hold an onlooker. Okay, we got the sub worker and an iterative. Problem is that they're just gonna pop our sub worker, right? Shoot. Ah, well. I can't win them all. But then again, Azir, uh, Draven Ezreal is pretty weak to burn, so if we're able to get in any damage, I'll count that as a win, right? On that philosophy, does that mean we start on Liquor on 1? Don't think we do. Eh, might as well. We, again, we just need to push any damage we can. Any damage is good damage. Like, if he's doing to burn a, th a thermo on a um, unprocked on looker, it's pretty good, right? Pretty good. The dream scenario here is that he um, burns everything so he can sump worker. I'm not going to sump worker here just because uh, facts and logic, right? Is it facts and logic? We'll fading off of this one if he removes it. It's Draven time. No reason to burn iteratives and fadings before he commits resources on him, right? Sure, sure. Alley oop. I've got some workers for days, guys. He's not ready for it. He's not ready. Let's boogie. I'll let Draven through, I don't care. Leave it to block something that matters. <laughs> this is a little bit risky, because we can't clone two, so if he kills the second one, then we're a bit in trouble. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Well, it's not great. That means we can't play off the combo, but we'll take it, I guess. I mean, thermos are pretty expensive, right? Do we open or greed? Probably greed, right? Ah, oh, we have to greed. It's important that we get this proc off. Even because even if we remove this, now all of the future posses we draw are um, leveled, right? We're not gonna urge him discard stress because we can't play uh, the card we get. Yeah, sure. Sure. I don't want to burn an ephemeral card yet. So we have an onward looker block into sentry. What's up, Silverhawk? How you doing, bud? I'm doing well. I mean, I'm doing okay. I'm excited because I finally posted a YouTube video in a while, and I've got more queued for tomorrow, so 
We're back on the YouTube grind. It feels really sucky to get off of it. Watch and learn. But we're back to it, baby. Back to it. Back to it. Back to it. Ho ho ho! Are we harrowing next turn? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. The sump rock got me good. Oh, we're totally harrowing next turn. Ah, shoot! I thought this was a fake one. Or an ephemeral one. I'm dumb. Maybe we don't harrowing. Let's see, how does the sump workers work, right? When they turn, do they make them all sump workers? I don't know if, how this harrowing actually works. I mean, we'll just test it next round, right? Computer died last night? Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Okay, it does work how I thought. Perfect. I really shouldn't have played the urchin, but it's fine. He might be able to shut this down, but maybe, hopefully not, right? I mean, it's Draven Ezreal. He, all of his cards shut us down, right? <sighs> it's worth a shot, though. This is a one of in the deck, so you're just not really expecting it. If you, like, remove some of these right on the stack, that'd be, like, amazing, right? I thought you'd never ask. Ho oh, ho, he let it go through? No way. No way, you got oh, dude, you gotta stop these from attacking. Otherwise I have a board wipe. <laughs> Yo. Hey, and the faint raid! Welcome in Faint Raiders. What's up, Ark? Hey, How y'all doing? doing? We just ruinated in a bunch of posses. You guys came in at a good time. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, 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 hello. How you doing, Fate? How was your stream, bud? Appreciate the raid. I'm doing okay, Ark. I finally got out a YouTube video in the longest time. I took like a, I took a bit of a break, which was not like a deliberate break. It was definitely a, I, I got, I did a bad and like fell behind my schedule break. Uh, but we're back to it, and I'm excited about that. Idiots. I'm so good, I surprised myself. He leveled his Ezreal, and yet still traded his Ezreal. Fair enough. You suck. Okay, no can we put in another seven points of damage to Draven Ezreal? We got four, two, four, six, eight. Or two, four, six. We need one more point of damage somehow. I think we could probably find one more point of damage in a burn deck. Just slams a fizz Draven the whole time. Hell yeah, Fate. With good results, or were you just ha or just for like fun? Climbed 150 LP. Great results. Uh oh. That's not good. Won't find better this side of the sun. Break their backs. That's not good. I think I do commit the cast salesman just to me to up. minimize our us dying, right? Because I'm not getting in my damage to swinging at him. Yeah, 100, 150 LP is pretty good, Fate. Not gonna lie, it's pretty good. If one more damage, boys. Can we do it? Fading Memories does it. Okay, we beat Dragon Ezreal. Off a of top, off of our one of Ruination. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Fading Cast would have been even better, Fate. I didn't even think about that. James, I believe so. I didn't check the name of the person I grabbed it from, but it is it is the championless um PNZ Shadow Isles deck. James. Getting into the stream mode. Uh, the real question is how is the matchup into Nasus Thresh, right? 
If we can if we can be competitive to Denasus Thresh, I'm a big fan. We'll see, James. We'll see. Ah, that is a pretty good hand, I'd say, right? I don't think we need it on to dusk. A double subworker's opening hand? You'd love to see it. I think the main thing in this matchup is we need to avoid our sump workers getting black speared and pulled. Those are the two ways they the Dash's Thresh player shuts us down. So as long as we play around that, we should be fine, right? Never mind, we can send it with the arrowing. Nasus Thresh players do not run. Um They, they don't like to run uh deny these days. They think it's too slow. Uh, we're going to be taking a lo uh, an unfortunate amount of damage here, but we're going to be sending it right back, so there's that, right? Yeah, I like the one of Harrowing. I think the two of is too much. Too aggressive. So yeah, Hunter... Yeah, what if now it's nice and vulnerable, right? So they're they're gonna be taking it down, but that's what we have all the clone cards for, right? My current strat is to just only play posses into a giant harrowing here. The desert by my side. Hmm, maybe some blockers would be nice, I suppose. I suppose. And there's no cards I want to discard, so we'll, we won't play the urchin. Question is, do we mystic this hunter or not? I don't wanna. Yeah, we need to. We need to stay healthy. Yeah, I got you. What are we doing the copy? They've been back on right recently. That's fair. I did I did run into a right from them uh, last two games ago in playing as your Darius Bird. But I, the thing is that I'm in uh, I'm I'm playing in Diamond, so I'm not I'm not gonna put the the Nasus Thresh players in Diamond on being super up to date with the meta, you know. I'm cool just jamming these and sending them to their deaths because we have a harrowing. A glimpse, sure. Taken. Gives him a black spear. Yep. Okay. The thing is, he hasn't been getting a ton of slays, so I'm not really worried what he can do next turn. Hopefully, we can block it with an urchin. Ooh, a, a salesman's e even better, right? The Emperor commands the land obey. Is there any way that NASA Thrash is any game versus Ezreal Draven? Uh, I mean, NASA Thrash is game into any deck. That's part of the reason why it's uh, so strong. There are very few bad matches for NASA Thrash. Other than TLC on the meta, on the ladder. Weird why he wouldn't swing a sand soldier. That's just super sus. What the hell? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? No, it does, because you're, you're losing slays. Dude, he just lost two slays. My opponent's trolling. Again, we are, we are, um, we're, we're seeing a diamond gamers right now. What the hell? Oh, just gotta send it. If he's got the deny, he's got the deny. Or a box. A box shuts us down too. I have heard them being on box. A box would be dirty right now. Holy cow. If this man has box. Oh, he does not have box. Easy. And I was thinking that's a pretty fun idea. What do you think of Darius GP and Darius LeBlanc? Uh, the only viable Darius list right now invoked is uh, Darius um, Azir. All the other ones, and maybe Darius Spiders. The other, the problem with the other ones is that they're too slow. The meta, the meta is very fast right now.
You either need to be a fast deck that goes up ahead of a Aurelia Ozier, or you need to be um, uh, good enough to heal that you can go around, like, past them. That's why uh, TLC with all of its healing and board wipe and dragons are both playable right now. Uh, no Mystic. Rummage Stress is fine. It's actually a fine hand, I'll take it. Rummage Stress is a nice combo. Gives us lots of refill. Drummage Double Stress? I'll take it. I'll take the trade if he offers it. If he swings with Sand Soldier alone, we won't. He wants the trade because it's a slay. I'll take the trade because, you know, damage. Uh, take. Can you take a glimpse? Sure. Invoke them, done. Uh, I don't have a reward so that I can choose whether or not I, like, if I'm climbing, I don't want to be reviewing decks, and so I just don't do it. But, like, if, if uh, someone wants, you know, stops by and they want, it, want one and I'm, I'm, you know, down, I'm down, you know, if that makes sense. It's a give, give Liberty more control over his life uh, decision. <laughs> We've got the Sump Worker Nuts Draw. That's one of the best combos in the game currently, by the way. Not best, but like one of the strongest is a Stalking Shadows into Sump Worker. So you can play down the, the Ephemeral one first and then obliterate the Ephemeral one. It's pretty spicy. An option there would have been to not just to punish his non-develop. Uh, but I didn't think it was worth. Seen you a lot in lore funny moments. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I invoked. I, I I I love the Legends of Runeterra funny moments clips. Uh, I think this is the round we do the rummage double stress. And we hit a posse. Oh, we drew all of our posses. Let's go. <laughs> Nutty, man. Oh, we're just going to take the pass? Okay, bud. I really want his Thresh to trade right here. I'd be so down for a Thresh trade. That's a burst pass if I ever saw one. I guess we'll just... Be like, yo, to his Thresh, right? Be like, yo. Oh, yeah, and invoke. As as Ark, as Ark has shown, I, I do have a YouTube channel, so you just check it out. It's a dope YouTube channel. Okay, now time to send it. You guys ready for it? We gotta play around a box. We gotta respect a box. So if he doesn't tap below box, we won't overdevelop here. Start off with a um, a fading memories one because he has to box now, and then we could still iterative and drop another one. There's the box. Okay, okay. Twas expected. Is that thresh level yet? Oh shoot, I'm gonna level his thresh by swinging, aren't I? Maybe we don't iterative drop posse. Because I don't want his Thresh leveling for free. The sun drop got me good. This is just to prevent him getting a, a free NASA swing. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, 69. Or 96. Um, let's see. Was it Thresh's box? I think it was, yeah. Invoked. Uh, well, shoot. You got a Nasus, bro. Um, 
We could iterative something to get out of Nasus killing us. I guess we just invoked another posse, right? A shame to lose him, but kind of, I don't want his Nasus free hitting, right? Let's do a nice little denial of Nasus level. Pretty dope. That is our last posse, so we can't iterative them anymore, which is really bad. Never mind, we top deck our one of harrowing. Let's go. He's not ready for the harrowing, boys. I don't care about Thresh leveling invoked. Uh, like, he might have a Thresh, but, like, he's only got one card, so I'm not worried about it. I'd rather save face damage. What's up, ATMI? How you doing? You just stopped in right in time for a... For a giant posse swing. Now, this man just has to not have Atro in his two cars, and we've... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> what a what an amazing posse swing, man! Let's go. <laughs> well invoked. There's a funny moments clip right there. Oh, this is a unique hand to deal with the zero, really, huh? An ancient fret version. Okay, so they're uh, confirmed on shaped then. A dais, a completely broke turn? Sure, I'll take it, man. I will take it. Slow layout for a slow layout. Come on, come on. Ah, shoot. Uh, I suppose we just... I mean, let's probably urchin. The thing is, I don't have any urchin targets, right? Uh, Della. Della Croy Wild Rift. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good one. Uh, we'll go for some onlookers, shove some da some cheap key damage. Azira really doesn't like developing fearsome blockers, right? The real question is, could we we could we could fading in one more, just to be mean, right? If he's not unshaped, that's a pretty good punish. I hope I got your name right, Della. <laughs> Della. Silent Paladin, we only greed. Ho oh, ho! I landed no way! That's so great. Because we have um, six points of burn in hand. When rhythm takes hold, there was no time for fear. Uh, all of these are more valuable blocks than my onlooker is currently getting. Let's make a deal. We fill it. Maybe you need a closer look. Gotta love Mr. Cask Salesman doing his good work. <laughs> no refund. We only need six more points of burn. We only need six more points of burn. Can we get six more points of burn? Probably. Oh, there we go. We got it. How'd you do that? Game is ours, boys. Let's go. He could be on a nope, right? But besides that, we win. We could offer the onlooker into a student trade. I think we do it. Focus. Focus. It's because I don't like students. Sure. I mean, we could go pew pew to stop that, but I don't think that's worth it. I think we want to shoot that face, right? And also him using flawless duets on defense turns are is very incorrect. He's supposed to be using these on attack turns to buff his students. Because he just wasted a bunch of student buff. 
<laughs> Silent Paladin, you don't like students. I don't like students. No, screw students. We got a cast salesman into a mystic shot. It's a pretty, pretty done game. Unless he's got a whack deck. Tell the people what you have seen today. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Yeah, GG's.